There we go, just a little bit of dinner before we go out detecting. What we got there? Honey sugared pork. Mmm. Fried potatoes. Broad beans, peas, carrots, capsicums. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Followed up by a couple of oranges. <laughs> oh, wowie, it's cold today. It's a gloves job today. Going to do that little field and then this one. Hey, you've got a penny. A half penny, I should say. It's a young Queen Ed Victoria. Haven't got a date on it yet. No, what's that, the handle off? Poker. On the what? Artifact. Now there's a buckle and a half, look. Beautiful ground round here, look, the iron pin still in, in good condition. Uh, George V, penny, bronze. I haven't gone more than 20 feet. A half penny in the same hole. Uh, I nearly missed that. Then I noticed, look, there were two coin impressions in the hole. Yeah, there's a nut there, look. Getting a nice variety of stuff. Another buckle. I think I've got the horse field here. Penny there, look. 1937. I've moved a few feet and the ground's got considerably better look. Coins are in good nick. A oh, tiny little button. Two pence. <laughs> this is the local little common. Uh, <laughs> I've been put off doing this. I mean, I've been talking to the little old lady who has the cottage here. And she said in the war they were boom donging or something, an American term. The government just had them come in and and landscape the place just to give them work which will have ruined what I'm looking for I don't know what you are but I think you're silver oh good one seems to clip together somehow right I'm just doing this field uh, horizontally instead of down the edge of the wall and I, I came past where I got those two farthings one there one there look and I got another signal and <laughs> there's another one 1941 what a little beauty look oh you've got me there I don't know what that is that bottom bits hollow No, no idea what you are. Button. About the size of a farthing, which I thought it was at first. Oh, finds a few and far between in the middle of the field here. I uh, just got a Queen Victoria half penny with a hole in it. It's not even in the right place to hang as a medal or something. Oh well, a uh, pen knife. Indispensable tool to the farmers in the old days. <laughs> well past its sell-by date, I'm afraid. Yeah, I thought that was too big a signal for a penny. 94 in GM power. Uh, it's old, it's copper. Oh, let's just call it Georgian. <laughs> yeah, another buckle. I think this was a horse field. Oh, nice ring. Big ring. Bronze. Another gorgeous little buckle. <laughs> mm. Having trouble speaking. It's the cold getting to me gob. <laughs> That'll be the day. Look at that. I'm hoping that's too dark for a buckle. Back with you in a minute. I know what you are. Oops! <laughs> Gonna get away! <laughs> no, I've caught you. You're a forgery. You're a silver sixpence forgery. Wartime. World War Two. If you look on the edges there, you can see it's multiple silver paper all stamped together. I'll clean it up when I get home. 
Hey, a keyhole. <laughs> oh. oh, a very nice uh, clog clip. A hasp with a slot for uh, slotting the uh, clasps into. Yes. I'm on the last couple of feet now. Literally, last couple of feet. Right, I've finished that now. I think I've had five buckles out of here. Silver Georgian. Uh, cartwheel. Nice farthings. Three nice farthings. Uh, and a rain turret. Silver. Oh, and that silver thing I've just got right up on the top there. So, a small field, but not too bad. Oh, look. Big, coo big spoon, big spoon. And then you see the words you don't want to see. Stainless steel empire. <laughs> Can't win them all. Oh, look. Look, my buddies are back. <laughs> oh, dear. Where's the llamas? Oh, there they are, top of the hill. Huh. Hello. Oh, button. Huh. Oh, you little beauty. Oops. <laughs> Looks like there's a bit missing. Huh. Right, we'll go have a look for the other bit then. Another buckle. Now, the two I've had out of this field, I'm just walking around in this field. Um, the human, as opposed to horse buckles, animal buckles. Must be something significant in that. Another buckle. <laughs> it's at six or seven today. Pulling in damn cold now, I'm, I'm working my way home. Oh. <laughs> These llamas are cute. They always knock around together, the white one and the black one there, look. They knock around with the sheep, but they know they're not sheep. <laughs> That's a silly statement. <laughs> Gotta be careful of these, if they don't like you, they spit at you. <laughs> See you later. I'm going home. Whoa, Queen Victoria, shilling, young head. Uh, We'll leave it at that, I think. Pack up now, because my fingers are freezing. <laughs> I'll see you at the roundup, fellas. Oh, you little sweetheart. Hello. Good hunt today. I think I found the horse field at long last that I was looking for. And by saying that, seven buckles. <laughs> right. Uh, God, it got cold today. Froze me off in the end. But here we go, let's start with the junk kite. <laughs> Golf ball. <laughs> Bits of copper plate. Odds and ends of little things. No, not what. A pen knife. Um, a slidey thing, but it's rusted. Another slidey thing here, but it's rusted. Slider in there, bronze, bit of lock mechanism, I think, as is that. Um, Modernish, uh, a washer. Uh, I thought this was lead, but it isn't, it's copper. It's a copper strip for a change. And then, of course, lead. <laughs> Look, boom. <laughs> There was more, but it was too heavy to carry, so I left it. <laughs> All going into the junk. Uh, scrap, I should say. Now, <laughs> oh, they, it's not fair, you know, these come out of the ground. And you think, whoa, and you turn them over and you read and you think, oh, I don't want to know. <laughs> Stainless steel empire. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised they didn't make everything out of stainless steel because we wouldn't have all this rusted grot, would we? Right, what we got up there? We got a nut screwed on the end of something. That's off a lock mechanism, obviously. Um, this, this gets me, don't know what this is. 
it had it had a little ring around the top of there I'm sure it did uh, like a ring like that only maybe not that big and it's got two holes in it and I don't know why <laughs> oh unless Bear with me, one moment, coming back. I've had a thought, I've just cleaned the bottom of that out, look, and it's, it's, I'm wondering if that's a whistle. Anybody know? And this, my goodness, this is heavy. It's hollow. Rattles. That uh, is screwed, so it screws onto something, look. Is it off a dead poster? I don't know what. Very nice bronze ring here. Off a harness. Nice one, is that? Buckles, look at that. Goodly. The ground's not bad there, look. It's keeping the, the iron pins. But that... That's not a pin, that, that's that's but, buckle. Put the shovel through it. I mean, it were deep. It was really deep. I, I was digging down expecting it to be iron. Uh, and I put the shovel through it. Slap of my handy. <laughs> um, obviously, what? Hat buckle, is it? Shoe buckle? Again, this this is a human buckle. But then we're going back onto animal buckles, or belt buckle maybe. Nice ones. Seven. Seven. <laughs> Do you hear that, Scott? Seven. I don't know why you can't ever find one. <laughs> I'll get you one when you come over our end of the woods, mate. <laughs> now buttons. Nice. Tiny little buttons, the ordinary buttons like this, little brass button, little gilded button there, look. Yay, fancy. Okie dokie. Oh, and uh, a clog hasp for clipping in the clasp. Uh, good condition. Yep. Now where should I go? Should I go to this? I, I, I thought this was silver. Oh, silver plate. Got an initial on there, look, SC. Um, those, are, those are for a pin, look, a brooch. We turn it that way and it's got them on this end as well. That's a brooch. Um, don't think that's a name. No. Nice silver plated and a good item at one time. I'm wondering if that says SC as well or someone else's name. Uh, but look, one weird, one weird brooch is that, isn't it? I think it's uh, uh, copper underneath or bronze. And then silver, very heavily silver plated. But I've not had anything like that before. Give you a good view of it. With these flanges. Hey, what on earth are you? <laughs> oh, dearie me. <laughs> right. Coins. To be <laughs> 1990, all on its own out at the top of the field. <laughs> and then, because uh, I did a couple of runs down the wall when I picked up these farthings, and then I was doing the horizontal ones, and I'd missed one. Naughty old me, look at that. Uh, I mean, these are the kind of coins you shouldn't miss. Look at beauty here. Eh? Nice little wren. Pennies, these are down the bottom, and it was a bit grotty down the bottom. Um, uh, the, the soil had changed. 37, 32, 1887 half penny, 1918. This one 
got it all in it. Uh, 1861. But what gets me is the hole isn't in the right position to hang it, you know, you'd think if it were a pendant it would be up there. But, oh, they do mutilate money round our way. Now, this. It's got to be a token. Uh, it has got to be a token, a Georgian token. Um... Look to be in the 1806 range, somewhere around there, 1800. But I don't know which one it is. But it's thick and it's heavy. Okay. We'll give you the silver first. Shilling, 1845. 1845. <laughs> Have you noticed things try to escape. <laughs> you find them and then they try to get lost again. There we go, 1845. One shilling. Bit worn on the back. Bit worn on the front, but uh, <sighs> that's a young head head, isn't it? Um, really going back some. Been around a while, been in circulation. And this one, this is that jet black one that I got. A uh, little go with the Brillo pad, it's amazing. It's a forgery. You can tell how it's, it's gone all grotty in the ground. But the best way to tell is on the edge here. Let's see if I can get it so it will show it. They're made up of layer upon layer. 100 and odd layers of, of um, silver paper compressed together. So you can see in there where it looks grainy and grey. And when they were made, you could not tell the difference. They were fabulous coins. Because this has been in the ground um, a long time. It says uh, 1932, but that's meaningless because it, it was probably made during the war. There was a lot of... Um, there was a machinery around to make these things in the war and people had access to it, so they made money. <laughs> ah, a forgery. I'm still counting it as a coin, though. It is a coin. It's forged. But there you go. We had a good day out. I'm sure I found the horse field there. And uh, I had a quick flash through the second field and, and I picked up, what, two, two more buckles? And that's shilling. So, uh, hopefully when I do a proper search of it, we're going to get uh, some real goodies. Anyway, I'll leave you with seven buckles. <laughs> seven buckles. <laughs> and a silver shilling. Yeah. It's out there. Go get it. Bye.